Hey, it's Pastor Fred. Uh, welcome to the follow through. We are listening to God also. We are living for Him. So hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody in your life. Today we're going to be in 1 Timothy 4, um, verse 12. All week we're looking at our uh, just how our lives, like what, what, what sermon does it preach, right? What message does it send to the people around us? Um, and, and it's really, really important. And, and, and sometimes what happens is that um, we just don't think we're qualified. Like, why would anyone listen to us? Like, why would anyone, in, would anyone like, take our lead or, or look at our lives? Now, again, there, there might be things in our life that we need to look at and go, yeah, well, there's because you're being sinful or because you're being selfish or, you know, and maybe there's some things that you don't want people to be following you for and, 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 and you know, you don't want someone emulating that. But if we're in the Word, right, and if we just know that God loves us and, and we just know that we got nothing except for His truth and His love in our lives, it's all about the cross, it's all about the empty tomb. But still sometimes, right, that that unworthiness creeps in. And, and we just, we, we choose to, to hit the sidelines. And we watch others because we feel they're more experienced. We feel they're, they're, they're maybe smarter than us. And a lot of times it happens that, that older folks, right, chronological age, older, like people with white hair like me, like we, we have this mindset that like they, they should get all the attention. Like they, they should have the, the, the floor all the time. But Paul's saying here, because he, he's writing to a young pastor. This guy's young. And he says, let no one, in 1 Timothy 4, 12, he goes, don't let anyone despise you for your youth. Now, now in Paul's day, right, you, you had like these teachers, right? You had these rabbis and they were typically older guys. Right? They had a lot of experience, and that's great. I'm not, I'm not, he, and Paul's not saying that that's wrong. But what he's saying is it's not about your, the years you've put in. It's not about any of those things. Because in, in the Christian faith, there's a whole lot of people that had, like, 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 like Timothy, who, who were kind of, you know, they, had, they didn't have the years. Right? They just didn't have it. And, but, but what they did have, here's the, and this is the important thing, they had faith. They had knowledge. They, they knew who Jesus was. And he's saying that's what matters. It's no longer the power structure, the pecking order, whatever you want to call it, right? Where the oldest dude is the, is, is the one that's the most important. No, maturity, spiritual maturity is about the time in the Word. The spiritual maturity is about like what? Now, now again, that comes over the years. But, but it really is a gift from God. And we got to remember that. We gotta, I, I got to remember that, that anything I know, I learned from Him. I learned from God. That it was His Spirit, His Word working in me. And then I should never despise anyone because of their age. I should never use that as a, 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 a barometer to, to whether I should respect them or not or listen to them or not. But he says, but set the believers an example in speech in conduct, in love, and in faith, in purity. Because that's what matters. It's not a power game. It's not a popularity contest. It's none of those things. It's how am I living? Well, you know, do, do I trust in Jesus? Do I know that I am forgiven? Do I know that I am loved by Him? People can see that. And if that's what I'm teaching, then that's, that's what matters. Like, like that's where the worth comes from. Like that's where, where they're, like, in other words, when you hear a sermon, like it, it shouldn't be how old the person is. It should be like, 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 what are they saying? Like, look at the words. Look at the truth that's there. If you're, if you're talking with them and you see their life, like what is, what is that saying? And, and Paul's going, look, you have an opportunity, as, even as young as you are, to, to be a great example in, in how you talk, the things you say, that, that it's all about God, it's all, it's all inspired by Him and, and led by Him. So, so in other words, when you say something, you're saying, hey, what, what, how can that build somebody up in your conduct, how you live? Do you let people go first in line? Do you, do you care about them? Are, are you being considerate? Are you, in other words, are you showing this love of Jesus in how you conduct your life, in how you love people, in, 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 in what you trust in, in, in your purity of your life? 
because again, you could be considerably old and, and not be, be serving Jesus in all those things. And, and you could also be really, really young, but just be totally on fire for Christ and what He's doing. Totally living as, as His follower, right? As His servant. And that's what matters for all of us. And like, like I just want to say, regardless of age, we got to stop looking at that as sort of the, the stamp of confidence, right? The, the guarantee of, of reliability is, is, is a life lived, the, 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 the breath of Scripture that we get and that we're bringing into all that we do. All right, I hope that helps today, and we'll see you next time for another follow-through.